everybody back to the channel and today we are changing the brake pads on the vehicle so as you see brake pads are right here if you're wondering how to change those this will be the instructional video you will be watching so let's get to it first off we're gonna have a couple bolts in the back that you're gonna have to take out in order to take the brake pads out now the only thing you actually have to take out is this piece right here this piece so this piece right here is separate from this piece this is the actual hydraulic portion of it where it pushes your brake pads against the rotor to stop your vehicle so in order to take your brake pads out you're gonna have to take this portion out which is the hydraulic portion where you got the brake line connected to it and everything so on this vehicle it only has two bolts here that actually hold the whole piece together so we have this bolt and we have this bolt to take out right here so these are the only two bolts that we are gonna take out we will need a socket right here this is A 9 16th so a 9 16th will go on here we're gonna unscrew this right now and we're also gonna unscrew this one at the top now since these bolts are off now this portion right here should come off real easily as you see it's gonna be pretty tight but move it around should be pretty easy to get off you just leave it right there it shouldn't go anywhere now Now, as you see, here's your brake pads. We're gonna take those out, you easily just pull on them. Should easily slide out to the side and come off. As you see, they are messed up. So, they got some cracking going on. Basically, they were overheated at once. They were overheated at one time. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace these. So you got another one in the back here. So you're gonna do the same thing, just pull it to the other side. Like I said, it'll slide out pretty easy. Also, you see all this cracking, it's gotta be replaced. We got some new brake pads right here. And no, I am not sponsored by Pro Stop, but if you guys see my video, please do hit me up now. We got the Pro Stop brake pads. These are ceramic brake pads. I recommend ceramics for your vehicle. So, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you have, ceramics are always the better choice to go with. So, as you see, this one right here has got a little pin in the back. And the old one right here had a pin on the back too. The one with this pin usually goes to the back part of the rotor. So what we do is we grab this new one right here with the pin and we stick it in the back. So what we do is there's a sleeve right there in the bottom and it's got this little finger or whatever you call it. You gonna slide it in there and then it's got one on the top as you see. We're gonna slide that one in there too and just put it right against the rotor, should be good. Now, grab the other one, and this one, as you see, doesn't have a pin or anything, just regular pad, and uh, as you see, you can put them in like this, but that's not the right way to put it in, so look at it. it should be the way it's turned. So what you do is you look how it's turned so it's turned this way so if that is circle like that if this 
circle goes like this, then this should go just like the circle is. So what you do is you put this one in. As you see, there's a finger in the bottom. You basically slide this in there. Then you do the same thing to the top. Slide that in, push it against the rotor. You should be good to go. Now, here comes the tricky part. So, we got these cylinders right here that basically push push these brake pads against each other. Now, they are, as you see, extended. The reason why is because these old ones are used up a little bit. And these new ones, as you see, are pretty thick compared to these. These are brand new. So what happened is, these right now are at the used setting, or basically set up for the old ones that we have. But now we got more, now we got wider here because we got brand new pads in here. So what we're gonna do is we need to separate these, or in other words, push these back. And this is where you need a crowbar. And we have a great big crowbar with us right here. And uh, this is gonna get very interesting. What I do is I take one brake pad out to get more space. That way it gets in, right? And now what I do is I try to stick this in, basically push it out. Now I do the same thing to the bottom one. And I push it out. And you'll feel it slowly come out. Now we've got your back brake right here. Remember the pin? That's right there. And we're gonna stick that in. Now we've got the front one without the pin. We're gonna stick that in too. Always remember to put it in the right way. Now Look at this. Now this, it just falls right in. There's so much space right now that it just moves around. And that's exactly how you would move those pistons back in. So as you move, as you see, they move around pretty easily. So now all we gotta do is put the bolts in. And as you remember, these two bolts, one goes on the top, and one goes on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the top one in, align it. Like I said, it moves around pretty easily, so you just find the hole, screw it in, and you do the same thing to the bottom. So we're gonna use our ratchet, screw it back up in, get those tight. So now they're tight, you might, have, might move around a little bit and that's okay, they're designed to do that. So now these are done. As you see, this moves around, everything in, everything should be good to go. So there's your instructions on how to replace your brake pads. So if you got any sort or some sort of questions about your brakes, please do throw them down in the comment section below. Also, if you want to know how to replace your rotors, do check out my previous video. And as you know, this is the end of the video. So if you like this video, please do hit that like button. Also, please, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.